Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So what's one thing that most golfers are most frustrated with? And it's the inconsistency in their ball striking or their shot shaping or whatever it may be. If you're someone who is like that and they are inconsistent, right? And I get that a lot. What do you want? Why are you here? I want to be more consistent. Okay. Well, where do we start? The key to being consistent is to control the club face. And from there, it's, all right, what really controls the club face in a golf swing? Personally, I believe there's three things. Grip is one. It's our only connection to the golf club. We got to make sure it's right, and it's got to be perfect. So how I hold the golf club, where it sits in my hands and my fingers, and the kind of grip I have is very important to controlling the face being more consistent. It's then my wrists. What are my wrists doing in the golf swing? Are they and I'm going to use big words, but it doesn't mean anything. Are they extending? Are they flexing? So on and so on. Cocking, uncocking, right? I think sometimes we get too complicated in the verbiage instead of saying, all right, here's what my wrists are doing. This is what causes, this is what makes the club face do, so on and so on. And then in my forearms, right? Are they rotating too much? So on and, and so on. So there's many things in those three um, areas different variables that can cause the face to do whatever it does. And then from there, the face causes me and my body to move in a certain direction. Because at the end of the day, everyone's just trying to square the face. That's all they're trying to do. So if they're open on the backswing, what are they going to do? Probably stand up, come over the top, and try like hell to flip and square the face. That's just, it is what it is. And if they don't, they're going to slice the hell out of it. If it's super shut, on the backswing. What are they going to do? They're going to push their pelvis closer to the ball and try to get the club so far inside that it opens up and then they can almost hit this like push draw out to the right. And if they don't turn enough, they hook the hell out of it and it goes left. So learning to be consistent starts with learning the club phase. And all I'm going to do in this video, and I saw this from Mike Adams, and I believe Webb Simpson might have said this as well, and I thought it was so interesting. They focused on their right hand and the grip. And you see all these things where, all right, we can have my right hand on top of the golf club, which would be considered a weaker right hand. We can have it on the side. We could have it under. And all they had you do was hold the golf club in your right hand only as a right-handed golfer, obviously left-handed do the opposite, and start monkeying around with those three positions. All right, if I held this club weak, and I made my backswing, I'm sorry, strong, and I made my backswing, is the club face stable when I do this? No. That thing closed so much. Well, what about if I go to the side? Okay, maybe a little bit. And if I really made a full swing, do I feel the club face rotate a lot in the backswing? To me, yes. Well, what if I go a little weaker, so my right hand on top of the golf club? I feel more stability in that club face. So the way my body moves, I need a weaker right hand. So for me, I try to get it. So if I just took the golf club and went straight up, my thumb is a little bit on the left of that line, and my right hand's a little more on top, because that gives me the best opportunity to keep that club face as stable as possible in my golf swing. I found that super interesting, and I challenge all of you guys to do that. See which one works for you, and which one keeps the club face as stable as possible. That's the end goal. That's the key to consistency, and that gets your body moving correctly, and you see good results. You can have fun and enjoy the game. If you have questions, ask below. If you have any future video ideas, certainly reach out. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share this content with friends and family.